Yes, that's right, Murray. The, the turbo cars are harder on tyres for, for two reasons, both working against them. One, of course, is obviously their extra power, which puts more strain through the tyres, and also because uh, largely the cars are, the, uh, are heavier, and so they, they work the tyres that much harder. And, uh, of course, with the competitive situation of the tyre war that exists, everybody's running the most marginal compounds that they can and I think Lauda was running uh, was able to run a fairly soft compound tower or was hoping to in the race and uh, this should tell later on his problem of course being that far down is that he's gonna have to work hard to get uh, people out of his way because as, as we've already seen just in the opening laps of the race overtaking is very difficult here there are 1.1 seconds between the first four men and they are you see them now Villeneuve, Arnu, Prost, Patrese coming towards us. Keki Rosberg is still well up. And look at the, the Marlboros and the Alfa Romeos in the background with identical co colour schemes. And there is Piquet. Piquet is going through and taking Keki Rosberg. So now the two Brabham's are virtually together. Behind the Renaults, we have a change of place there. The red Ferrari on the left the greatest name in motor racing over the years they have won more Grand Prix than anybody else and Gilles Villeneuve the French Canadian there is a, a replay of Nelson Piquet the world champion moving up to fifth place ahead of Keki Rosberg who finished in fifth place in the South African Grand Prix and we're going to complete now lap five out of 63